Growing up, I've always been into sport. I think I've always wanted to be up there in terms of physical capabilities. I always wanted to try and set the school record. You know, someone told me the school record, I wanted to go out there and be it. Uh, it was the same with football. I always wanted to be that guy that people would look at in the team and say, we need him as part of the team. I've, I've always wanted to push myself physically and mentally and just whatever sport I've done, I've always tried to push myself to the limit. And that kind of continued all the way through school and through university, just being part of a football team, being part of this team, being part of that team. Until kind of after university, it, it, it all came to an end. And I just focused solely on the gym. And the gym was kind of like my haven, my way to continue pushing myself and my limits. But over, over time, I remember I was driving along and uh, it was after I played with the lads, just in the park playing football. And I remember thinking to myself like, I've lost this, this athletic nature that I had before. Like lifting the weights made me look athletic and, and I was really happy with how I looked. But the way I was performing outside of the gym in terms of just being able to run around and things, I just felt heavy, I felt slow. So um, I was speaking to one friend and they suggested CrossFit. Now, my initial reaction was just, just no. Like I, I, I looked at CrossFit as most of you guys will. I looked at it in terms of, they're doing all the pull-ups wrong. They're, what are they doing with like overloading too much? They're pushing their body to a limit. They're gonna overtrain. You know, you're gonna lose, you're gonna lose your muscle mass. You're gonna lose your gains because literally you can't train that hard and, and maintain muscle mass. And so I just kind of knocked that idea straight on the head when they told it me. And it was just because I was arrogant and I didn't, I didn't really understand what CrossFit was. It was then like two or three weeks later, I got contacted actually on Instagram uh, by a CrossFit box near me after I'd just done a leg session and I was actually wearing a Rogue t-shirt which is a CrossFit brand. And I just thought, why not give it a go? Now I remember going to my first session and my first session was a bit of a shock, if I'm gonna be honest with you. It was 400 meters, four rounds into 20 push-ups. Now well, how hard does that sound? Especially coming from like a footballing background, I was really comfortable. I was like, yeah, you know, I've got this athletic, but I can run, you know, I can I can do the push-ups. You know what, this is, I'm gonna fly, but I'm gonna fly through this. I'm gonna beat all these people here, because <laughs> that's just how I rolled. And uh, I got my ass kicked. I got my ass literally handed to me on a plate, like, uh, there you go, dude. And I remember the first run, I'm like, oh yeah, you know what, this is, this is good. Second run, I'm struggling a bit. And you know, I was just like, I'm not at the athletic capabilities that I used to be and mentally that just, that just messed with me. So from there, like the rest was history. I was like, I just went back and then I went back and then I kept going back. And it was because of that horrible feeling that you get from a workout, you know, when you're dying on a floor, like, oh. yeah, that was me. And um, I was just addicted to it by then. So the game plan is, I've entered the 2016 CrossFit Open. And the Open started in 2011. And in 2015, it had over 270,000 people enter it online. So you're putting yourself up against the best of the best. And it's gonna be insane. Like, all of the best athletes in the whole entire world compete in this. It's a five week competition, and it will be 16.1 up to 16.5. And each week, they'll release a new workout. And this starts on February the 25th. Now, I'm super excited for this. And even though I'm not gonna be the best, and you shouldn't expect me to like win leaderboards and win workouts, you shouldn't expect that. But what you should expect is for me to push myself to a limit, lift heavier than I have before, and to hit that wall. You know that wall that you go, I can either quit right now and never come back and just cruise the rest of the workout because my lungs are on fire, my legs are on fire, my arms, shoulders are on fire, I can't continue but you should expect me to hit that wall and go through it. You know why? Because I have people like you guys, some of the people that have come down and trained with me, some of the, some of the people that I've never met and just watch the videos. I have the people that I call my family at CrossFit Faber that literally like support me through everything and you see us go for coffee every week and just enjoy ourselves. And you should expect this series to just be hopefully inspirational to you guys. That's why I want to get out of this. And to give you guys something to say, he's not the best at this. He's not the best at CrossFit. 
but he still inspires me because of the work ethic. You know like when you see someone in the gym and they could be 300, 400 pounds or they could be 50 pounds and you see them putting that effort in, you know, they're dripping with sweat, they're pushing themselves to the limits and you can see that, you know, you get inspired by that and hopefully by this series, uh, I hope that in each workout and leading up to the CrossFit Open, I can just give it my 100% because you know I'm gonna, because that's just how I roll. <laughs> and um, I'm just gonna make it a hell of a series for you guys. Let's just do it. I'm ready to work out. You ready to work out? <laughs>
I'll get this one because this one looks like a bit more. Even though it's like two pound extra, I just think I won't lose it. That'll do. Oh, it's reduced. Even better. <laughs> The, we just did what we needed to do, and uh, this 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 shopping mall. We used to always, um, when I was like 13, 14, or 15, all the lads, we always used to come in every single Saturday, like it was like religion, and we used to just sit there for like four hours and on like one of these benches, and that was all we did. <laughs> anyway, we're going home. That is the end of week one. And, uh, well, it's Saturday. It's the end of week one training-wise. I'm taking tomorrow Sunday off um, just because, like, this chesty cold is uh, not very nice. And I've trained so much this week that I feel like the intensity that I've been doing it, I just need to take the day off. So I took Tuesday off and today off. Well, next tomorrow off. So that'll be two days this week, two rest days. Nutrition's staying the same, pretty much. And, um, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these videos. They might be every Sunday or they might just be a whole series. And, uh... We'll just see what we're doing, but I uh, hope you just enjoyed the first video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and um, we'll catch you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoy it. I, re I really, really do. I hope this series, because I'm excited about it, so I hope you get excited about it. Boom!